Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have to share with you unboxing and first look of a new Imperial Shred knife that I recently got and uh, I must say uh, finally uh, I'm getting close to completing my uh, Swordbuster collection. There are probably maybe one, one piece more to go uh, but uh, yeah there certainly always a place for more <laughs> but af after this uh, knife they probably uh, will try to make a collection update so stay tuned for that so this is the model number imp22 which is imperial shade so mall farmers folder so for obvious reasons they cannot use uh, the swordbuster name because that is uh, patented or copyrighted uh, with case knives but that will be showing you the comparisons and probably uh, this is one of the most inexpensive uh, entries in the, the Swordbuster realm of collecting uh, or using uh, Swordbuster frames or patterns uh, that you can get so uh, let me give you the specification really quickly and then we'll be talking about on the, the rest of the points that I have marked in my notes so we have an over length of 16.5 centimeters, this is 6.5 inches. Uh, the blade is 7.4 centimeters or 3 inches with a cutting edge of 6.5 centimeters or 2.5 inches. We have blade width of 1.5 centimeters or 0. Uh, sorry, the blade width of 1.5 centimeters or 0. 0.6 inches. The thickness is 2.4 millimeters or 0. 0.1 inch. The handle is 9.2 centimeters or 3.6 inches long with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches on the widest part. The shred is using uh, 7CR17 MOV uh, with this drop point profile blade which is set and finished. We have a black composite uh, scales. There is also a yellow version available and there are brass liners and pins. We have a round bar shield with the Imperial written in it. Imperial stamp and the model number. Nailing opener and we have no half stop and as far as I can tell here and also feel we have some kind of uh, dirt or grime inside uh, the pivot assembly area because I feel that uh, grinding of grinding sound so it is what it is so the weight it counts uh, well, at 55.4 grams or two ounces so really beautiful uh, lightweight so this will probably disappear in your five uh, fifth coin or watch pocket on your jeans it also co could ride in your shirt and also in your trousers or back uh, pockets At this price point, you can probably not expect perfect uh, centered blade, but uh, as far as this go, it is almost centered. The finishing on the composite is, as you can see there, there are some scuff marks and imperfections in the polishing and also grinding right there. But uh, yeah, let's face it, uh, the standard price is $9.99. I did saw them on sale for $7.99, so for $8, uh, uh, this is even cheaper than probably uh, most uh, Rough Rider small uh, knives. But then of course you, you can get some uh, uh, some for $6.99, <laughs> but that is only a dollar difference. So yeah, uh, I, I would probably say that currently oh, this is the, the cheapest Swordbuster, small Swordbuster or Swordbuster Junior frame that you can own not to be harsh on a case but uh, usually those case uh, models can go for around uh, three times or maybe also five times sorry five times the price of this one but yeah you can definitely 
get more premium uh, versions for even uh, more money. So now uh, let's see the let's see the sharpness of the blade right from the box. So yeah, the, it is not that perfect. But let's face it, if it cuts paper, it will cut everything else. It's just in my opinion, when I can get a shaving sharp uh, blade shape from from Rough Rider, that they cost really uh, almost nothing, then uh, sorry Shred, but you could do better. But but given that this is a 7CR 17MOE, uh, which is not that um, uh, not that tough, uh, you will be probably have no problems to use your ceramic rods or maybe just your polishing compound on your uh, strap but it is up to you but i would like to give you my completely honest uh, unboxing uh, as you will have the knife if you buy it so you do not have any kind of uh, complaints uh, down the road uh, okay all surprises but now uh, let's see the comparisons part of the video So firstly, of course, let's put down the original Swordbuster Junior. So as you can see, they are almost the same size. I would say probably they are. You can see the, the tension of details is definitely there. So you are, you are paying uh, much more, uh, maybe three times more uh, for these standard composite blade composite uh, scales, but uh, yeah, you will see made in USA, made in China, there are also different uh, finishing applied. Much more time went into polishing the back part of the blade, you can see some kind of, uh, I say not corrosion, but uh, looks like uh, oxidaz oxidization. Then of course, uh, here is one of the newest entries, because as far as I I know, uh, maybe I'm I'm mistaken or I forgot, but uh, we are in 2022 and uh, Rough Rider did not produce uh, a Swordbuster equivalent or uh, I would say a copy or clone. Ah, maybe those those are a little bit uh, harsh to say, but. You definitely uh, do not have a slick joint a version of this knife from a Rough Rider. As close as you can go is with this uh, Wasp series uh, small uh, work knife, uh, which then of course will have a brass liner lock and it will be a little bit smaller. Overall a little bit smaller, as you can see right there. Not that much, but just a hair smaller and it has a little a little narrow uh, belly okay so now oh uh, let's continue so here's the current offering from burger plus which will also cost you uh, much more but then of course uh, if you like me and you would like to have a micarta then uh, go for it so 440a which is yeah similarly tough maybe uh, the 7 cr is a little bit a uh, little bit tougher but overall you will have uh, similar experiences okay then i have here the previously uh, reviewed the the large version of the farmer's folder which is the large one this is the same model number, just with L at the end, IMP, intended 22L. And yet it is significantly larger, as you can see, this is a beast of a knife. Okay, I have here on the table also the 1512 from Brother Knives, uh, which is a, another Chinese uh, brand that will give you uh, Overall, the similar aesthetics, but uh, this is probably would go more as a uh, as a large trapper. 440C, a little bit better still, and yeah, 
my card. But it will cost you more, maybe around uh, three times on this knife. Okay, oh, so here is a uh, stockman from Rough Rider. Here is a Texas toothpick and my first peanut from Rough Rider. Okay, so now let me show you a few size comparison with more modern knives, of course, like I usually do. So here is the small griptilian from Benchmade. Here is the Spyderco Delica pack uh, This is the So I had to check it. <laughs> Sorry. This is pack vintage uh, select uh, small of course. Here's the QSP Penguin, CVV Elementum, this is the Rustic Gen from CVV, and the RRR017 Barlow from Rough Rider Reserve. And of course, let's close it down with the K Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so overall, if you are looking to maybe try out this timeless classic, uh, American classic, uh, which is the Saltbuster Junior frame, uh, the Imperial Shrade will give you a beautiful a well uh, priced budget offering and maybe if you like what you are having maybe then you can jump and uh, the price up and check out the the salt buster from case or all sorts of other uh, traditional knives that are floating around if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try uh, to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and uh, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes other stuff regarding my new hobbies. So with that being said, I would like to wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon.